Each year, more and more vehicles travel Minnesota's roadways, increasing the demand for highway maintenance. Because many of our jobs are out on the highways, reliable communications to remote sites are required. When accidents occur, MnDOT personnel are many times the first on the scene. With two-way radio communications, it takes only seconds for medical assistance to be on the way. Two-way radio also allows MnDOT to carry out these and many other functions with greater efficiency, adding to a great savings in time and dollars. The unit that is responsible for the installation of these systems is the Office of Electronic Communications. With a complement of 65 personnel, the office oversees the maintenance and installation of radio communications throughout the state of Minnesota. Electronic communications is divided into four sections, office management, engineering, radio maintenance, and computer repair. Behind every successful office, there is an administrative support staff. This staff consists of four members who work closely with all employees to keep the office functioning smoothly on a day-to-day -day basis. The office management section is responsible for preparing and administering the biennial and fiscal budgets, personnel transactions, accounts payable, payroll, radio asset inventory, and word processing of all correspondence generated by the office. The computer repair shop, with a complement of seven technicians and a radio maintenance supervisor, installs and maintains the following equipment. Personal computers, local area networks, electronic highway scales, weigh-in motion scales, computer peripherals, dumb terminals, closed circuit television systems, digital and analog microwave systems, highway advisory radio signs, I-35 highway call box systems, microwave closed circuit television systems, traffic enforcement radars, and video distribution systems. The majority of the work performed is with computer, network, and related items. There are over 2,000 personal computers within MnDOT. The shop also acts as a support for the outstate radio shops with reference to computers and networks. The electronic communications engineering section is responsible for communication system design radio frequency spectrum management, and implementation of the new communications technologies. These technologies relate to operations management, law enforcement, IVHS, and roadway maintenance. The engineering section is located in the DOT Kelly Annex building. Engineering activities related to communication system design include writing of specifications and technical evaluation of bids for procurement of electronic and communications equipment. Equipment enhancement modifications are often needed to integrate multiple systems and provide specialized operations for the Department of Transportation, Public Safety, and Natural Resources. In their effort to design quality systems for two-way FM radio and microwave communication systems, the engineering section makes use of the latest computer analysis tools and terrain analysis software. This information is applied to the determination of point-to-point -point microwave communication links and studies of RF coverage areas. In the area of radio spectrum management, the Electronic Communications Engineering section is responsible for acquiring and maintaining FCC license for all state of Minnesota entities as frequency coordinators for APCO, the Association of Public Safety Communications Officers, and AASHTO, the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials, our office performs frequency coordinations for all police, local government, and highway maintenance agencies within the state of Minnesota. This coordination service is also provided for a 12-state region, which includes Minnesota, through our participation with the FCCA, Forestry Conservation Communications Association. Our office has been a part of the explosion in radio communications applications into new technologies. These new applications include mobile data terminals, roadway weather sensing, video roadway monitors, radio data systems, remote control shadow vehicles, automated vehicle location, and many other IVHS, Intelligent Vehicle Highway Systems, initiatives. The Electronic Communications Engineering section is continually exploring new ways to improve safety and efficiency through these new technologies. In our efforts to provide service to our many customers, the engineering section works closely with the radio technicians located throughout the state. Collaborating efforts are needed to install and debug the complicated communication systems involved. 
There are 15 radio shops located throughout Minnesota. These shops are located at the following MnDOT locations. Bermidji, Brainerd, Detroit Lakes, Duluth, Golden Valley, Mankato, Marshall, Oakdale, Owatonna, Rochester, St. Cloud, Thief River Falls, Virginia, Wilmer, and Grand Rapids. Primary duties of these shops are radio and computer repair for MnDOT as well as maintenance of radio systems for all Minnesota state agencies. These agencies include the Department of Public Safety, the Department of Natural Resources, the State University System, the Department of Agriculture, the State Hospital, and the National Weather Service. These statewide radio systems involve the use of radio repeaters at tower sites that are strategically located throughout the state. When a mobile radio user depresses the microphone button, the mobile radio begins transmitting, which activates the repeater at the tower site. Because of the added height advantage of the repeater antenna on the tower, the operator can communicate with another user over a distance of 50 miles or more. These repeaters are also linked back to a dispatch center at the district headquarters, which allows operators to communicate with office personnel 100 miles or more distant. These tower sites are shared by various state agencies, which minimize the cost per agency and provides uniform radio coverage. The State Patrol, being an emergency organization, often responds to life and death situations. Immediate response in many cases can make the difference between a tragedy or a life being saved. The instantaneous response is achieved by two-way radio to a dispatch location. 911 calls by the public are relayed by a dispatcher to troopers for response to critical situations. New technologies provided by the Office of Electronic Communications are constantly improving these systems. The DNR also relies on radio communications for enforcement of game laws and the development and preservation of our natural resources. Early spring and during dry periods of summer and fall, wildfires consume our grasslands and forests. The responsibility of controlling these disasters falls on the Division of Forestry. Equipment and trained personnel are called in from various locations to control the fires. Instant radio communications are essential to deploy these resources. Ground crews and aircraft must communicate to best combat the fire. Many of the scenic beauties of Minnesota are preserved in our state park systems. Radio systems play a major role in helping to preserve these natural wonders and to accommodate the many tourists who travel to Minnesota to enjoy our natural wonders. In the previous scenes, you have seen numerous ways that communications technology is used by state agencies in carrying out their duties more efficiently. As a possible radio user, you should keep in mind that all radio users are governed by FCC regulations. This means that the mobile call letters are given at the end of each transmission. Conversations are to be of state business only, and obscene or profane language is prohibited. Violations of any of these items could result in a fine or loss of license, as determined by the federal authorities. The Office of Electronic Communications prides itself on delivering quality systems and services. This service not only benefits the transportation, public safety, and natural resources organizations, but also the citizens of the state of Minnesota. Hello, I'm Sam Gargaro, Director of Electronic Communications. Welcome to MnDOT. The scenes you have just seen illustrate how vital communications are, especially when these operations are carried out on a statewide basis. As a MnDOT employee, your duties may require the use of radio equipment. Therefore, you will want to become familiar with the use and operations of the system. Training videos will be available which will explain in detail proper usage of the equipment. Also, if you encounter any problems, the technicians at our radio shops will be an excellent source of information. On behalf of Electronic Communications, I want to welcome you to MnDOT.